Hey guys, this is Russell with the Droid Guy. Welcome to another segment for Intro to Android. What we're going to cover today is the settings menu. We're going to go ahead and take a quick look at how the settings function in Android. Uh, a couple of you know quick ways to change certain features, you know, as far as how how the Android system is functioning, as well as a, a very quick way to access any of those features. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Settings menu from your home screen. You're going to press the menu button and settings is right here. So we're going to go ahead and locate and activate settings. It's going to bring up a basic menu. And you've got your networks, your call settings, your sounds, your display, accounts, you know, it goes all the way. These are all of your phone's basic and critical settings. They all get adjusted here. Okay? We're going to start wireless networks. You want to turn on your wireless network, you want to turn on airplane mode, your Bluetooth settings. Everything gets controlled within the wireless and network settings. If you're ever having a problem with your phone, your mobile network settings are here so you can confirm that you're attached to a mobile network. You've got your call settings, your sounds. You can activate silent mode here. You can change your vibrate controls, your phone's ringtone, your notification ringtones. Uh, activate or deactivate your trackball notification light. Uh, you know, for other phones, this may be an LED notification light, but it can be adjusted here. Haptic feedback is a big one for me. It allows the phone to, uh, you know, to vibrate when you've hit certain buttons to confirm that you've pressed them. Take a look at your display settings here. Uh, ability to control your brightness. You can also have it set to automatically adjust the brightness on its own. You can control animations for screens. You can have the screen timeout set to a specific time. If you don't like the fact that the phone dips out on you, you know, after holding it for 15 seconds, you can adjust it all the way up to a half an hour. And just a lot of functional controls here as far as being able to, you know, kind of personalize the phone, make it function a little better for you. You know, you get your privacy settings here, you can control your your backup and your restore. Big important button right here is your factory data reset. Don't press that button unless you're sure. But if you ever need to reset your phone, if someone is uh, telling you you need to do that, that's the that's the way you need to go for that. And you've got a lot of functional controls here as far as date and time. You know, you want to use 24-hour format. You know, but these are you know all the settings for your phone can all be controlled here. Now, it's kind of a pain to you know hit the setting, hit the menu, go to settings, and search through what you want when you want to do something as simple as you know turn the brightness down on your phone, turn on your Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, activate your Bluetooth. There's a lot of you know hoops that you have to jump through for that. So what we're going to take a look at here, I'm going to show you a shortcut. We're going to hold here, and it's going to say Add to Home Screen. One of the options we're going to see here now is going to be your widgets. And we had to talk about widgets before. One of the widgets that comes standard in every Android operating system is Power Control. So we're going to go ahead and activate Power Control, and you see the widget has arrived here, and you're given five buttons for base control. What are these five buttons? You've got your wireless control here, your Bluetooth control here. I apologize. You've got your Bluetooth control here, your GPS control here, if you want to turn that on and off, your ability to sync with your your you know your Google applications, and the screen brightness. So like I said, you can control your screen brightness, touch of a button, very easy. If it's lit green, that means that it's active and functional. If it's not lit green, that means that it's not active or not functional. So this is a very quick way to, you know, access some things that you already have preset. You know, if you want to turn your Bluetooth on real quick, this is much faster than, you know, going through the menu. If you want to turn your GPS on in a hurry, this is much faster. Your Wi-Fi, anything like that, you're given a lot more control here. And again, we can remove this at any time. We can move it around. Works like any other widget, and it can be removed. When you remove it, it doesn't remove any of the settings that you put on there, which is a uh, very helpful. So again, this is Russell with the Droid Guy, and this is Introduction to Android for Your Settings.